blessings, blessings to you guys. Blessings. Praise Master Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was so surprised you did that. <laughs> People yes. miss him saying that, so he yeah, had to put I, it in there. <laughs> I always see the comments. Yeah. I see so. you guys. Yeah. Uh, so That's my cool. wife had a dream. Babe, she had a dream right quick. Yeah, so I had a dream about Andrew Tate, and I really do not know much about him at all. I have to be honest with y'all, yeah. so I was uh, a bit shocked that I even had a dream about him. But in the dream, I seen him, and he had a tie on. Uh, it's <laughs> To be honest with you, the way the tie was in the dream, it just is so disgusting to me. So um, the tie he had on, it resembled a real fish. It's like a uh, the, the fish of a the skin of a fish. So it could have been like a snake or a fish, but the tie had that type of uh, look to it. Not just a look to it, but it was like a real fish or snake, but it was like, it was silver. Okay. And that was the end of the dream. Like, it's like I seen him, um, Get, I guess get an interview and while I was looking at him I noticed that the tie he had on was that and I just thought it was so disgusting that was the end of the dream yeah uh, uh, I know a little bit about him because uh, people don't like him much uh, because he always uh, voice his opinion you know the same way that Kanye West is saying is doing he was counseled uh earlier before Kanye West. Wow. You so know. they uh, they took him off of YouTube. And yeah, they, 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 they canceled even, him first. Even one of his videos that we posted on TikTok, uh -huh. they attacked the video too. Uh, one thing about this whole thing is this. You can, tell, you can see that he has nobody controlling him. He's doing what he want to do. Mm. And that was why he was just a weird this uh i like a, as a tie hmm. that's why he's wearing it because nobody controls him nobody tells him what to do and uh being that disgusting look in that uh dream you know he can also be be some somebody that you cannot trust okay. you know yes he can say tr the truth he can tell the truth here and there but it's still somebody that you don't need to trust okay. in every word that he is saying because there is a lot of disgusting thing that is coming out from him that uh, you don't need to look up to. Uh, believe it or not, whatever I say, I've, I, I have already shared his videos on, on, on our TikTok and also on our Facebook, even on I think I don't know if I've shared it on YouTube, mm -hmm. but this dream made a lot of sense. So some videos that I put out there, I put out videos because of the little clip somebody said. We don't agree in everything that somebody's doing, but if that right there hit or uh, need to get to some somebody, yes, I can put it out there. But this dream shows that you don't need to trust him 100%. Uh, everything that he's saying, there is a lot of truth, and there is also some things that you don't need to trust him. So God is bringing this so that a lot of people that are following, trying to, you know, figure out how to do things. Because I, I, now, now he's saying that he's a Muslim. Mm -hmm. You know, he's into Muslim and all that. So you see what God is showing here. A lot of people trust this, this, these guys. A lot of people see them as their motivator or their guidance or their, their Lord or whatsoever. You never know. We live in a world that everybody uh, in, in church, in Christian, Christian homes, they, they call their pastors daddy in the Lord, papa in the Lord and all that crap so worldly people even some christians can also look look up to these people and you know they can call them also oh, i trust this guy he's telling the truth mm -hmm. or oh, i trust this guy you know he's somebody that you don't need to trust mm -hmm. but 
you can pick some truth that he is saying and just uh, ignore some things that is not of God. Wow. Well, I'm glad the Lord cleared that up because I have uh, listened to him a couple of times and uh, he be on it. Yeah. He be on it. And um, uh, one thing I, I miss about, you know, America is that we have freedom of speech. Yeah. He can speak all he wants to. He can have his own opinions. And um, so that's what America is supposed to be about. Yeah. You know, and I like how the Lord is, you know, you know, just in case people are wondering who he is, you know, yeah. and, you know, kind of confused about him. Well, yeah. God is telling you that he's yeah. saying some stuff that is truthful yeah. with boldness. Yeah. And then on the other hand, you it's know, something not to, it's somebody that you don't put your yeah, trust. Don't trust them fully. That's why we yeah. all need to trust God. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. who, like your trust should just only be in God. If you want to see or know what this guy is saying is the truth, mm -hmm. then the God who you trust will reveal if this person is the tr is saying the truth or mm -hmm. not. Like Kanye West. Only thing only thing you need to do is go and pray as if what he's saying or what he's doing out here, if mm -hmm. it's truth, Lord, reveal. God will reveal. Mm -hmm. Likewise, some ministers, what they're doing, uh, Lord, is this you? God will reveal. So trust yes. only God. And I wanted to bring that up. I wanted to talk about uh, Pastor Gino Jenkins. What's his name? Yeah, yeah I'm going to bring Gino. him up in a minute. But um, about Andrew Tate, he was talking about about something about women that I was like, what? Did he say that about women? You know, and um, I was in disagreement of what he was saying. I forgot what he said, but I was just like, is he okay? <laughs> But, um, um, uh, but I noticed then, I noticed then that, yeah, something, all, all the things that I'm not going to agree with what he say, but yeah. yeah, women, you know, have, it's always good to be in a good conversation with a man, uh, before you go to the next level with him. Yeah. Because, um, if he's talking strange and, you know, he's giving you a, a red flag that you don't need to be in a relationship with him or even be in friendship with him. So if I was women, I would never, ever, ever get married to Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. He need to mature up in, in that area. Uh, now I want to talk about Pastor Gino Jenkins. Is that his name? I think so. I hope I'm, if I'm saying his name wrong, um, I, I'll i put it in the description box or I'll put it in the comment section or whatever. Okay. Or in the title. Um, so, uh, I love the way he is so bold. I really appreciate how bold he is. He is bringing correction. I do love that. I do. But it's one thing that really irritates me. Um, and I don't really listen to him either, but the things that when I have that I can agree on, I listen to him, but he don't, he really, really is strongly against women preachers. And, um, and we all need to know that God is very okay with women preachers. Anybody preaching. Anybody you preaching. Even, uh, it don't even matter women. Anybody, kids, mm -hmm. teenagers, even in the womb, if they can preach from their womb or in their womb, they can preach. That's all. It don't matter who preaches. Yes. It's only, uh, whenever I hear that or see when he said that, I laugh about that because I, I don't care how how long you have been preaching? You don't know it all. You don't know If it all. God can yeah. use a stone, if God can use a donkey, if God can use anything to speak, nobody should argue or doubt about women preaching. And you know, people, they get into the word of God. Okay, that's good. You have to pray. Because I think a lot of Christians, we place God in a box. Not me. Okay. Don't, I don't want to say we. <laughs> well, a lot of Christians put God in a box. And they don't understand that God is outside of that box. So that box, God is, God can do, can change things in his own timing. He can do what he want to do. He is God. He can, he's the alpha and omega. Y'all do know that he can do things outside of the Bible as well. And I know people are going to be like, wow, oh my God, I can't believe she said that. I said it. Don't place God in a box with scripture. 
he, he, he give us the word of God for a reason, right? But if you want to do something that is totally outside of the scripture, he can, he is God. So you have to pray and say, Lord, because a lot of things people be like, well, it's not biblical. It's not biblical. And a lot of that stuff is not in the biblical. It not, was not in the Bible. While you drive, there's a lot of people who don't drive cars because they, they said it's not biblical. Y'all know yeah. that, right? Even TV. It's in, it's in America. And I forgot the name of the, uh, the people who do not drive cars, uh, the Amish people. If it's not in the Bible, they feel like it's not biblical. It's not, if it's not biblical, they don't want to be a part of it. Electricity is not in the Bible. So, um, uh, yeah, electricity is not in the Bible. So they don't believe in electricity. Yeah. Right. Um, so that's how, that's the example that God has given me right at this moment. Yeah. It's, it's some things that, uh, that's going to be totally different, you know? So we have to know that we can't place God in a box and pray about it. If you feel like something don't sound right to you, pray about it. God will lead you into the right direction, but it's very okay with women preachers. Very okay. With uh, lady prophets, apostles is come on. Now. And, and, and most times when I see or hear a man preach like that, mm -hmm. sometimes it makes me to think this person, uh, you know, do they even like women? Do they really care about women like that? You know, because in that particular season of Paul speaking concerning that scripture, there's something that must be going on in the church. or Because a lot of things he was rebuking. It was more of rebuking correction. Mm -hmm. So there must be something that he had going on in the church that he was vi uh, he's going to visit or he visited. So he has to bring correction. Women, just do it at home. You can debate about that, but I'm not in a debate mode. I don't debate <laughs> about uh, Bible. Yes. All I know and believe, if you are a woman out there and you are standing because of this, you cannot preach. <laughs> don't hold the word of God. Don't, 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 uh, 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 Put the word of God that God has placed in you in prison. There's a lot of people that need to hear your voice mm -hmm. that, that will repent because they heard what you said. So in that area, if any woman comes to me and say, ask me that question, I will laugh to the person like, are you kidding me? And I like how what my husband just said. Like during those times, we don't really know all that happened. And, um, men do need to come back and realize that you are the head of the household. You need to correct because a lot of these women have gotten out of control. And I know some women are like, what are you talking about money? Oh, y'all, <laughs> y'all don't even know the half of it was going on nowadays. Y'all know if y'all have a lot of youth around y'all, um, you will see that the women and young women have gotten out of control how they dress, how they treat men. And the men are not saying nothing. The youth, the, the, the young men don't know how to represent how to be around a woman because they're so used to, I guess their father not being around or their father is, is, uh, is allowing their wife to do whatever she want to do. Uh, a lot of, a lot of women are, are cheating on their husbands. I, I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it happen several times, you know, so correction needs to be there, but I've, God is saying, get, give it a balance. Everybody. It's a balance in everything. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, some Christians are taking it to a whole nother level when God want to put a balance on it. It, yes, men need to be the head of the household, but not to the point that you are demanding that a woman shut up in ministry. When God has called women to rise up and to preach the word of God. And, uh, <laughs> is that, you know, if you go to the word of God, there's a lot of things. That's why you see uh, homosexuality people, they debate a lot. Mm -hmm. You see uh, Jewish people, you see... Uh, a lot of people use the Bible to debate, which mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that way. Right. 
even in the Bible, the Bible says it about the arguing, you know, but you, you see a lot of so-called believers that will tell you, why are you preaching? You a woman. Mm -hmm. Some videos that we post about women preaching, you see somebody comment something like that. Believe it or not, I block them because <laughs> that's a religious mindset. Yes. And when you begin to get rid of religious mindset, you'll be free and be free indeed. I know we have uh, made this into a whole nother discussion, but it needs to be said. Yeah. It needs to be said. And yeah, we was all talking about Andrew Tate. So there you go. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching. We love have you guys. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.